Hi guys, Stefan here from Automatio. So in this video, I want to show you how you can automate your WordPress website uh, without API, without programming uh, experience, and without writing, of course, uh, a single line of code. So what they're going to do here is I'm going to teach Automatio to basically log in to my WordPress as administrator, uh, go to create new post page, fill this data, title, description, pay, uh, category, tags, whatever, featured image, post it, take a screenshot, and we see what's going on. Basically, we can do whatever we want, but let's that be a task uh, for this video. So if I want to log in uh, or authorize, sign in, however you call into um, WordPress or any website, I have a two ways. Uh, one way is to have open here already set up a, a flow or extension. Is one way is to, as you can see, create this input action and input password. So for this, and click this login button like a standard normal way, like the user will log in, uh, you know, entering the username, password, clicking the login button. So I can do that. Uh, I can put, you know, just some random name and the password, then automate you'll go and execute. But there is a, another way, and we're going to use this second way, which call it uh, cookies. So uh, if in under the start option or here, I have this preserve cookies option. So if I use click this button, import cookies, it's going to import cookie into, into Tomatio. It will, it will collect the cookies from my browser and Tomatio will use it. So it, he, he, he'll basically presenting myself. Hey, this is me, Stefan. I am just, you know, already logged in. Why I need to log in, right? So this is that second way. And it's a really powerful. It can be candy in many different situations, website cases, and so on. Um, basically, you need to be logged in because if I would log out right now, the cookies will say, hey, I'm logged out. So it will not out log in me. So that's why you need to be logged in. Uh, so you can use this option. So I just, as you can see, uh, imported cookies. So let's go on. So now I want to say, hey, go to the post page and click this, you know, add new page. So I mean, there is a, this is automated. There is a, always multiple ways you can do it, do something. So I can say, hey, Automatio, click, click the click action, click over here on add new page, you know, and then after he click, after you click there, uh, let's wait, I'll, I just execute the click uh, using this arrow button as you saw over here, that's mean executing. And then I, you know, I could say like that, uh, or so, I, or I can just say, "Hey, Automatio," because I know this is a, you know, a post new page URL. I can just say, "Copy this URL and create a new toolbox action, which will be basically go to URL." So if you just go to URL, and if you know exact URL of the page, it can save you the couple of clicks or actions or whatever interactions you need to use there. So since we are the, on the add new page. Um, a new post page. Uh, let's 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 do this. So what we want to do here is to fill the title, description, and all other necessary information. So let's do it. I'm going to use this input action to mark uh, to mark this input field, and I can call it the title, just so we can have for the sake of the logs, so we know what's going on. And like I'll say, hey, it's boost and this is automatic so maybe I can put some emoji let's put this robot emoji all right so if I execute it's gonna be there so now we need to put uh, some text into this description or the body and since I know this uh, this body is a bit tricky so we're gonna we are by default in on the visual over here, by the way. 
So I'm just going to use a click action first and tell Automatio, okay, Automatio, click on the text, on the text tab first. So let's say text, text tab, we, we're going to rename it. We don't need to rename, but just for the sake of knowing what's going on when we watch the log. So I'm going to execute. And now we're now we in the text um, filter. So I'm going to swap back and select now the input action. So you can see I'll select this um, description editor. And let's say call the body, you know, close body, close body. So basically here I can put, here I can put some random text, la, 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 la you know, whatever, just for testing purpose. So I'm going to execute, it's going to put, as you can see here. So what else we can put over here? We have a bunch of stuff which we don't need here. Let's put just uh, important stuff, which is, yeah, let's select the category. So I'm going to use another click action and say, hey, this is a new category name. So basically I'm going to select this checkbox over here and I can call it uh, category. Uh, if I execute, as you can see, it's it's marking that. So let's go with input, uh, with uh, input action, another input action, and add add it for tags. So I'm I just selected it over there. I'm gonna call it tags, and let's put something like no code, no API. Automation and whatever it is. So if I execute you here, it's gonna add out there. So what I, I can do now, I can say, okay, click that but add it, right? So add tag. This we're gonna call this action add tag. So if I click it, it's gonna add as you can see over there. So what we are left here. We're left with featured image, so let's add a featured image. So another click action, clicking the featured image. So let's call it a set featured image. So execute it. We are gonna get this model where we can select this featured image. So let's select some featured image. Let that featured image be um, yellow you know, happiness, positivity, optimism, sum, summer, warning. Let's warn people that automatic is coming. So selecting, let's call this action selecting an image. And the last, okay, let's execute first. So we select. And the last thing in this step here is set featured image. So set featured image. Executing, it's setting, as you can see, it's there. So what we need to do now is click the publish button. So another click and say, hey, click publish button. Publish, let's go. Publish, publish button. So what's gonna happen now? I go, if I click this arrow execute, it's gonna basically publish manually. We are currently creating this process, the step first. So let's do it. If I click the publish, as you can see, it's loading and it's going to uh, create this new post just so we can go through the whole process. And then we're going to delete this post and let Automatio do uh, by itself. So as you can see, it say post published. So what I can do now, I can, you know, I can take uh, this uh, wait action, you know, and I can say, hey, give me the screenshot. So Automatio take a screenshot. So I can see where are you. Now I can say, okay, extract me this, this text. So I can have this text, you know, uh, and extract me the link. Extract me the link of this text. So I see it's a six uh, element selected. Let's find, okay, these elements I don't need. So I'm gonna unselect by clicking. So now we have, you know, we have kind of status. And what we have now, we have this, post link, post, post URL, whatever it is. Um, but I can do now, like I, I can do whatever I want basically, but let's say I'm going to, okay, click on this. So click on post 
And if we execute it, it's going to go to the post page. There is no image out there because this post page doesn't display the image. So let's say Automatio um, <laughs> take a screenshot. You know, he can take again a screenshot. And what also we can do is we can probably tell him, hey, leave, click the leave comment. Let's just see. Leave the comment. What will happen if the, if there is a form at all? Uh, I don't see the form. So let's let's keep this. Let doesn't complicate. I want to keep this video uh, short. Let's just see how long it is. Ten minutes already. Sorry guys, but I, I just wanted to show you this. So in ten minutes, basically, I'll create this bot. I could do it faster if I didn't talk and explain. Uh, basically, so yeah. That's it. Let's take a screenshot and let's run. Let's create first. So we just created this. What I can do, I can add some screenshots over there in this uh, in this first step. So first of all, I'm gonna add this wait action. So when we log in, give me the screenshot. So so we can see that we are logged in. So I'm gonna use the screenshot. You know, you can put a screenshot as many you want uh, under every action. So basically, when you watch the screenshot, it would be like a slideshow, and you'll see, okay, automate you just log it in. He filled this field, input field. He filled it the body, la la la. So uh, let's update this, and let's go just back to the admin because why? I wanna, I wanna delete this latest post. Which we just created over here. So if I if I go to here, I just gonna delete because we manually created while I was creating the process because that's how uh, you need to do it. And now we, when there is no this post, we're gonna let Automatio to do it. So if I go to the home page, refresh, no no post. This is as you can see one year ago. So let's run. Let's see what automatic can do. So three, two, one, start. Okay, starting it. Let's go to the logs and see what see what's gonna happen. So the, as you can see, the logs say uh, launching browser navigating. Okay, it's waiting for two seconds, capturing the screenshot. Now it's going to this uh, post new page. And now, as you can see, it's inputting title, clicking, and it's gonna execute all of this action which we already give him. So if you go to the screenshot, we see this is the first screenshot when he logged in, and now he should take another screenshot after he uh, create the post. So let's see, right. So this is a second screenshot, as you can see, post publish it, and this is a third screenshot. And I got notification, it's finished it. So this is actually when he click and come to that post page. So this is what automate yourself. So if you go to the home page again and refresh, we will see this post. We will see exactly what we told him to do. How cool is this? Hmm? No coding, no API. In just under 10 minutes, you will be able to create kind of these scenarios. Like, so yeah, this is automatic. He could basically do whatever you want in there, automate all kind of process. Hey, go delete the comments. Uh, you know, I don't know what, what, what you will need, but this is just basic example. Like, hey, go create this post or go, or maybe you need to repeat some action some boring action or you don't have API for some certain things and you don't have uh, programming experience. So this is what automatic can do. Like uh, basically no limit, no limit. So if you're interested more about automatio and stuff, uh, you can go to automatio.co and subscribe for earlier tests. We're going to, the people who fit into the automatio 
for early adapter programs. So yeah, if you're interested, come here, uh, click get early test, fill this, you'll get another email with the form, fill the form, give an information. So we know uh, who you are, what you want to do it and so on, la 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 la. So this is already a bit uh, too long video. Uh, thanks for watching and peace guys.